Hi everybody and welcome back to another edition of Laser Noob. My name is Ryan and I am the Laser Noob. Today we're going to do acrylic part 2. So that that's two by the way. Okay. Um, our last video on acrylics, our clear winner that, you know, was Enduramark charcoal glass that we did a little Spider-Man with. Um, I've had some, some other suggestions about some stuff to try. We're going to try those today. One of the main reasons is, is that people overseas or like Hawaii, for some reason, they cannot get the charcoal glass from Enduramark. It's not available. They can't ship it, so on and so forth. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take tempura paint and chalkboard spray paint. And we're going to burn those and we're going to compare those and see how they come out compared to uh, the Enduramark charcoal glass. So hopefully this works and that'll give some people that can't get the Enduramark some better options or at least some equal options maybe that they can just go down and get it their place. Cause I'm, you can, I'm sure you can get tempura paint. It's non-toxic pretty much at any art store, no matter where you're at and chalkboard spray paint. I mean, everybody's got schools, right? So with that, let's go ahead and hop into light burn. We're going to get these set up and we're going to burn them and we'll do our side by side comparison. Let's get to work. Okay, so there's going to be a couple of things that you guys are going to notice right off the bat um, that we've got going down here on the uh, on our honeycomb. Number one, I have got some pins that uh, I bought off of Amazon that fit into the honeycomb. You can actually use to hold down some stuff um, like wood if it's warping to keep it from warping. These things are fantastic. They're really cheap. Um, these particular ones are made for the X-Tool honeycomb. Um, and then, so, but I'm not actually holding anything down right now. Basically what I've done is I've put these in and turned them, um, and they're just right up against my acrylic. So when I'm done burning this acrylic, I can just pull that up and lay the next one on there. And it's going to be in the exact same spot as the other one. I don't have to worry about doing none of the framing or any of that. Cause I know it's, it's going to work. N number two, you will notice that I have taken off my shield off of my laser module. Now, the reason I've done that is, is one, it's a pain in the butt, you know, to get the air assist on and back off. Um, and if you're burning stuff with paint and you got the air assist on there, it clogs up the nozzle, whether you're using paint assist or air assist or not. Um, so I took that off so I can easily put my air assist on or take it off whenever I want. Um, the only issue is with that is if, if you guys are not using an enclosure that has the safety shield glass in it, um, like, like me, you are going to want to get yourself some proper um, laser safety glasses. Um, these are rated for, I believe, 450 in, NM is what the laser puts out. These guys right here um, are rated for 190 to 550 NM. Um, so they're rated for the, for this machine or for this laser. Um, you can get those off of Amazon. These are free mascot. Um, I definitely, if you guys take your shield off, I recommend you get in the glasses, um, save your eyes. So with all that out of the way, we have our lasers all going. We have everything all set up and we've set our origin and we've set our finish position like I've showed you guys in other videos. Um, so right now we're just going to go to go to origin. And there we go. Now for this one, this is we're going to be doing uh, the tempura paint first. Now my speed is much slower on tempura than it was the Endura Mark. Now the Endura Mark, I believe, was like like 40 percent power and 40 millimeters a second. We're running the tempura at 20 millimeters a second at 35% power. Um, I actually did a paint test on these and did different speeds and powers just to um, see what was going to turn out. And the 20 and 35, it, it comes out pretty clean. So it's going to take a little bit longer, but um, that's okay, you know. Uh, here, I believe it's going to take 20 something minutes. 
yeah, 24 minutes almost. So I mean, I mean, that's a little bit longer, but that's okay. So I mean, it's, if it's if it looks better, we'll we'll see. I think it's worth the wait if it looks better. So we've got everything in there. Our laser is all set. We've got our home position. Um, we got our pins in. We got our safety glasses on. And with that, let's go ahead and burn this baby. Okay, so, well, I mean, it, it looks good right now. Uh, the problem is, is that while this was burning, I heard uh, a lot of the dreaded little snap, crackle, pops coming out of it, which basically means that we're running too hot. So, uh, you know, I did the, the test, and it's just numbers. They're thin, stroked. Uh, it's not got, you know, all this all this white fill in here. So, and the longer that laser's in contact, the hotter that is going to get. So, what I might have to do, we're going to clean this off and see what it looks like. But I think it's full of, of you're going to see a lot of little clear pinholes all over the place. I think what we may need to do is run this at a lower uh, power setting and might have to do two passes. But let's clean this off. We'll see. And then we're going to go ahead and do our uh, chalkboard test. Let's go ahead and put some new poster board down. We'll get our chalkboard paint one down and we're going to go ahead and burn that and we'll see how that looks. So I ran a test, a speed power test on another acrylic sheet, just like I did for the tempera with the chalkboard paint. Uh, and this is telling me that, again, you know, this is not a bunch of fill. This is just some letters or, and numbers. So it's telling me 20 and 30 is what's going to be best. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take that power down to 30. Now, one of the things I noticed on the other one is I had my white space scanning turned way high and it was doing a lot of jumping it made it a little quicker but i don't like the way it makes my laser jump so we're going to come up here and we're going to turn that back down to 50 where i normally keep it and let's right click preview and 30 minutes so uh let's go ahead and get our laser in position And we'll frame it, just double check, should be good. And we'll go ahead and get that started.
Okay, so right off the bat, what I'm noticing with the uh, chalkboard paint uh, is not nearly as white as the tempura already, I can see. So let's pull that off. I mean, it's definitely there, but it's, it's not nearly as white as the tempura. So let's go ahead and get this cleaned and we'll see what it looks like. So yeah, the tempura uh, between the chalkboard paint and the tempura, definitely way better. So just for a frame of reference, we're gonna take that out. Here is, here is our paint. Uh, this, this was the Enduramark charcoal glass. Now this thing's been laying around and scratched up, but you can still see that it's, it's pretty white. That looks good. Now the, and Duramark, if you can get it, is about $70 for a spray can of that. All right. So you got the tempura or the tempura, the chalkboard and the Enduramark. Enduramark is extremely expensive. All right. So there's that one. Here's our tempura paint. It looks just as good as uh, the other one. Um, this stuff, I, you can get this at Walmart or on Amazon, it, I mean, it's $2 for a 16 ounce bottle and you can coat several of these for a couple of bucks as opposed to a, a $70 spray can. So, I mean, the spray can's easier to apply, but much, much cheaper, a little bit more prep. And then the chalkboard paint, again, um, I mean, it's, it's, it's red. Um, <laughs> the cleanup, it, it's easy to apply number one that's a pro but the con is the cleanup and it's not nearly as as bright as even the tempura that i mean huge huge difference so there you go okay so just so we have a frame of reference so in the light how you can see how they look so this this was our endura mark I mean, it comes out good. I mean, there were one or two tiny little pops in that uh, up on the legs near where the body is. But all in all, when you put it in the, in, in the light base, this looks really good. Okay, so that's our winner from our, our first one. Side by side comparison. Now here is our chalkboard paint. I mean, Enduramark definitely wider. Than, than the chalkboard paint. That chalkboard paint's pretty dull and it doesn't show up real well in the light base. So chalkboard paint, that's a loser. Now, Enduramark versus tempura paint. That tempura paint is actually a little bit wider than the Enduramark. So like I said, way cheaper. And I don't know if you can see, but like I was saying earlier, there's a little dark spot right here on that and uh, like I said you can see it when it's out and there's there's a little dot right here in, 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 the, in the abdomen of the spider all in all when you put this in the laser this looks really really good but I would never sell this because I'm a perfectionist and and I see that dot so until I get it perfected I still got to mess around with it a little bit but just so you guys got Tempura, Enduramark. Uh, so I believe that Tempura is definitely the way to go, much cheaper. Now, one of the things that we're gonna, we need to talk about here is, is these get really hot. I mean, you, you, got the, uh, you got the poster board laying down here. Um, the acrylic gets hot. So it, that's what makes those pops. Now, if you want to do something bigger that has even more area that's etched, um, it's not going to look real good. And I did a couple of tests. So uh, this is, I did an Iron Man face. This is with tempura. And you look, I mean, that came out horrible. But it just got so hot that it just, it was, it makes it brown and made, it was making the paint peel off in areas that the laser hadn't even hit. Um, this was, this was the chalkboard paint. I mean, you can't even hardly, you put this in, in the light base. 
I mean, it doesn't even show up. I mean, it's, it's horrible. So even tempura was better with this, but you're going to have a real hard time if you want to try and do big images where it's burned a lot because it's going to make that, it's going to make the acrylic real hot and it's going to pop and it's going to do that stuff. So from what I've seen, I, I think if you didn't, a trace image uh, of the Iron Man and without all the fill, it would come out great with the tempura. So the Spider-Man though came out really well in that one dot. And I'm actually using real thin acrylics as opposed to my thick ones. I always do my tests on these thin ones because they're too small for the base. And I'm having a hard time trying to find the actual correct size or thickness of acrylic to go in the bases for spares. So. I, I try not to waste those. I always do a practice on the thin ones and then I burn my thick ones. So with that guys, thanks for sticking around. Uh, I hope this helps you out, especially for those of you that can't get the Enduramark charcoal glass. Um, I know you guys can get some sort of tempura paint. It is, it's non-toxic, washes off with just water and, and a soft sponge. That helps save your acrylic from the scratching and all that. So if you can't get in Duramark, definitely try the tempura paint. And I hope it works out for you guys. Hey, real quick edit to the video here at the end, guys. Sorry about this. But apparently someone in the neighborhood has a two-way radio and they're picking up my receiver or my mic or vice versa. And they thought it would be funny to, to make a bunch of noise over it while I'm trying to record. So Anyway, but I also want to take this opportunity to let you guys know that I, I've been doing this for just about a month now. Um, we got almost 300 subscribers as of today, Sunday, October 30th. Um, I really appreciate each and every one of you guys who like the videos, who subscribe to the videos. Even if you don't like and subscribe, even those, those of you who are just watching them because you're trying to learn something, um, I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to keep making the videos as long as you guys keep watching the videos. Make sure, it, you know, if you can, go ahead, like, go ahead, hit the subscribe button over there in that corner. It helps me out. I'm not trying to be the next YouTube superstar. I, I don't care about any of that. It's fun. And as long as you guys are learning, I'm going to keep doing it. So once again, thank you guys. Uh, Links to the glasses on Amazon are going to be down below and the thin acrylics that I use for tests uh, because they're cheap. I'm linking those down below too. So make sure that you guys stay tuned for the next video and we'll see you then.